Hello my dear friends, this is your friend Dr. Suresh Envy here and today this video is about how to select institute for your post graduation and this is because many students have been commenting this in, the, uh, in my YouTube channel and I thought that since it is a counselling uh, time now for many of the students for post graduation I can help them with some of the important aspects which they should consider before taking admission in any dental school in India or maybe that can this can be related to abroad also. Now please remember this is my personal experience. Please do your own research. This is only as a guidance. The first and foremost thing which all of us has to know while selecting the admission in any dental institute in India is about the fees. Now there are three types of uh, students here, one who are very financially stable, for them fees may not be a very big issue and there are people who, were, who are not financially sound, for them maybe majority of the time a government seat becomes a priority, uh, don't be discouraged at the beginning of your preparation if you are not financially sound, many of you will be surprised that if you put a lot of effort then things fall in place. So always aim for government seat even if you have money. The real confusion is for people who are in the middle who can afford private seats but not deem seats but find it difficult even maybe to pay a half of the private uh, fees. Now I was in that kind of situation. Uh, although I had a government seat but I wanted uh, like with a branch which I always liked somehow with the family support. I finally got into a very good branch and I am quite happy with my decision. Now I am not here to tell you whether you should take that seat or no, that's a very different uh, uh, discussion. But whether you take any college seat, please note that you have to calculate fees very well. Now why is that important? In general, you know the counselling brochure may say, a notification may say that okay the fees is around. Uh, 6 lakh rupees for a private or any deemed universities and you may calculate okay 6 into 3 is 18 lakh rupees and you might think okay this is fine I have 18 lakh rupees so I can take the admission but the, the thing you have to consider here is that you have hostel expenses your department might ask you to buy some things it happens very routinely in many of the institutes in India they can give you majority of materials but sometimes uh, maybe for endomotor or any other equipment uh, they will ask you to buy it. And apart from that there are monthly expenses for any average student in any average city it would be generally minimum 5000 rupees which I believe because I have been interacting with the students and they told me somewhere around 5 to 6000 rupees is the minimum expenses even today. So that yearly it adds up another 60,000 and then you have mess expenses. So while making a decision to take a, a seat in a higher fees seat, please make sure that you calculate all those things. The second important thing which you should see is that the patient input in the dental college. Now. There is one thing which I would like to tell you that doing too much of patient doesn't make you a specialist because the idea of becoming a specialist is doing the things properly. So you may have uh, 50 patients sitting outside and you may think I want if, if I do 50 patients then I will end up learning so many things that is not possible. Dentistry many things need time suppose for example you want to do a very good crown cutting, you want to do a very good endo, you need time. So you don't require a very high flow of patient but you require minimum amount so that every day you are engaged. So you can always ask the students of that institute who are already working there regarding the patient input. Uh, in general uh, majority of the departments like endo and all they tend to have patients. But I don't know about the other departments and if you plan to select any other branch, please uh, do the review. Then the third important thing is that you have to talk to the students 
regarding the institute now here one thing you have to remember is that it is always better to ask a second year student of post graduation because a first year student who is really new they really don't know the complete experience whereas a third year student is really stressed because of exam and they may not give you a proper information because you know of various reasons it is a second year student who generally knows you know a part of first year a part of third year and that can help you but i would like to tell you one important thing here is that the department majority of the students will never like the department in which they are doing the post graduation and that quote which says that you know the grass is always greener on the other side is really true for even the post graduation seats unless you go and as after finishing the post graduation you go to some other institute and start working then you realize how good was you were uh, earlier institute now you might think your department wants to be very friendly easy going sometimes i personally believe that it may not give full potential out of a student because you want certain amount of uh, you know rules and regulations which has to be followed so that it also gets the best out of a student so if somebody says the department is slightly strict and all don't be really scared try to find out what exactly strict means and you know there are maybe there are some really bad incidents then you know that is definitely not a good thing about that department but in general if the review is uh, you know uh, it is okay it is good then you should get into that uh, uh, department because that is sufficient you we don't require you know for a student best means can be different for example for uh, a student who doesn't want to work a uh, easy going department will be really good but a strict department will not be considered you know uh, a good department so it is highly subjective but this is what you should look for then the next thing is regarding the infrastructure now this is very important because for example we are in modern endonautics uh, maybe if a department has microscope if department has modern facility it gives you modern materials to work then it is going to be very beneficial but here also there is uh, maybe uh, one way which you can help on yourself is that you can buy some things if the department is not going because ultimately you want to learn things if somebody is not giving you material then ultimately the loss is yours so you can always share materials with your friends and buy it and get the experience of material but if the department has good infrastructure that can be really helpful please remember that a uh, average infrastructure also can be really sufficient okay it is about learning we are there to learn uh not you know you don't you may not have kfc you may not have good multiplexes but if you have basic facilities then it can be really enjoyable because post graduation is about learning then for many students the important thing is about location and connectivity now i have been talking to many people uh some people don't like small places i totally understand uh, them i am from a very small place so i did my post graduation in a small uh, place called as davangere it has a very good institute uh, uh, name also uh, but the advantage was in a small place uh, the expenditure is really less and uh, there is nothing much to do so majority of the time we will be you know thinking about studies some people especially who belong to metro they want Uh, some uh, you know some uh, other infrastructures in the city and they can always go for places where you have all these connectivities like airport and all these multiplexes and all then the mess is something which is a mess or maybe the type of food what you get is a major concern for many of students and this is for the students who are from north who move to 
साउथ कॉलेज बिकॉज साउथ फूड इज वे डिफरेंट दैन दी नॉर्थ मेजोरिटी फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कोप एंड मे बी सेम वे the south people will find it difficult for the north but now things have improved it is available at many places if you don't like the hostel mess you can always go eat outside there are different messes that can be still adjusted so if the department is good if the college is good the facility is good you can compromise in food uh, maybe the you know food habits but it it is definitely at the individual level another important thing which uh, for many students is the faculty of that institute and many of the departments have a well known faculty majority of the dental schools and there are sometimes uh, the faculty name may not be well known throughout the uh, country but ultimately you are there to learn okay if there are teachers who help you to learn there are seniors who help you to learn then it is really beneficial now don't get me wrong that since a department may have 5 to 6 post graduate seats and you may have joined the department thinking that there is one famous teacher there and you will be able to learn everything from him that may or may not happen because there is something called as guide allotment so if you are lucky enough you may be directly under that uh, very good teacher even if you are not there many of the dental schools uh, majority of the scenarios you are allowed to show your work because there are different teachers at different days so you have an opportunity to learn from all the teachers if you are interested so but that is one thing which you should know because many students get disappointed when they go to the dental school and you are not allotted that teacher that is one thing many students find it disappointing but it is nothing nothing bad ultimately every every teacher every institute works as a unit uh, if it is a good institute and you get exposure from the all teachers while learning so this is what is my advice to you if you have anything to ask or add on to this please write in the comment section and subscribe to this channel if you have any other questions please write in the comment section and i would definitely make a video for you bye for now